2014 is almost over, and what a year it's been. Here are some stories you may have forgotten from the past 12 months. New Jersey Governor Chris Christie's office was subpoenaed by the U.S. Attorney for allegedly orchestrating a days-long traffic jam in Fort Lee, also known as Bridgegate. Later, he was accused of mishandling Hurricane Sandy funds. Facebook purchased Oculus Rift for $2 billion. It was game over for Flappy Bird, which had been downloaded 50 million times when creator Dong Wen took it down from the app store. People were so mad that some sent him death threats. More than 200 Nigerian girls and women were abducted by the radical group known as Boko Haram. An April avalanche on Mount Everest killed 16 Nepalese guides, the deadliest incident in the mountain's history. It sparked a big debate over whether climbing the world's tallest peak is worth the risk. In April, it was revealed that an encryption bug called Heartbeat allowed hackers to capture user passwords to dozens of popular websites. 2014 also marked the first year that North Korea's April Marathon was open to foreigners, something of a rarity in one of the most closed-off nations on Earth. Select areas of the U.S. could text their emergencies to 911 as of this past May. America lost one of its greatest poets, authors, and voices when Maya Angelou died at the age of 86. The FCC voted to advance a proposal that may allow companies to pay to prioritize select internet traffic over that of others, prompting many protests around the country in support of net neutrality. A scandal rocked the VA and resulted in Secretary Eric Shinseki's resignation after allegations that some 40 veterans had died while on a secret appointment waiting list at the department's branch in Phoenix, Arizona. Uruguay's Luis Suarez bit Italy's Giorgio Cialini during a match between the two countries in Rio during this summer's World Cup.